Today we're going to try something really crazy. 23.9, close enough. These are very close to true O scale. You don't want to try this with a modern transformer. So this is based off of a real B&O caboose from 1916 up to 1938. That is not helpful. Now it is truth or consequences time. Part of the circuit is running through this wire arm here. Very simple but effective animation for the layout. All right, so let's talk turnouts. For the turnouts, there's multiple ways to do this, but for mine, on my track diagram, I have these red push buttons. And as you see, as the train would come along this way, if I want to keep it on the main line, I would push this rotary to throw the turnout that way. Or if I want to come into the yard, I press this one to throw this switch this way. And just because I ran out of room here, these are not exactly <laughs> right here on the terminal. This throws this one this way um, auto automatically to um, this way. And then I can throw to each of my three sidings. One, two, three. Um, by choosing the different rotaries. So each rotary is wired to one side of the turnout. Let's take a look at the turnouts. Okay, and so you see we have, uh, again, my blue or black common because I ran out of black wire and had some blue. Um, so this is my common. This goes down to the plate on my common bus underneath the layout. And then we have my um, red to use the turn. And again, I ran out of green, so I've got uh, more blue. But as long as you know what is what, and I have it marked on my diagram in my notebook as to which wire is what. Uh, what I preferred to do, I did it this way on this one. I've still got my blue as my common, but here I had two conductor um, garage door opener wire. Uh, one side has a stripe, one does not. So the stripe, whether it's red or black, depending on which one, is for turning, and the non-stripe is to throw the turnout in the straight direction. Um, so again, this goes to a plate underneath the layout, and um, this is actually just supplying common feed to the rails, and, um, and the switch motor this does not go back to my control button. Each of my control buttons, the first thing I did was one side of each push button, which you can see here, um, goes to the common way down here. The other side goes from that terminal. Try this one. Move the camera around. Okay, the other side, which this one I've disconnected because I changed the track plan, um, goes to, here you can see them better. One side, in this case the blue, goes to common, and the striped wire, or the striped wire, this is for a turnout's curve side, and the corresponding one, here we go, is this would go to the straight side. It makes more sense if you flip over the panel. Uh, also, to avoid solder connections, I use these quick connects. These are really cool. Um, if you are a messy solder like I am, you can prepare the wire. Let's see, this one looks better. You can prepare the wire. Let me pull this off. There you go. Um, you can prepare the wire on the bench or whatever, and when you're ready to wire it up, you just slide it into the contact. I can do this one-handed. There, pushed it in there and you're ready to go. And the insulators help keep the space so you don't get a short circuit. That one's wiggling off. Remember I said this is an unfinished basement, but things like that happen. Okay, so I use the quick connects on that. Uh, the other thing that that does is if I make a mistake, <laughs> it's easy to pop it off and replace it rather than having to go in and re-solder it. Okay, so uh, this side, if you follow it all the way around and down, goes to my common bus, which goes to my common bus on all of these switches. And then each 
of the other side. Go down here, go to this terminal, which says turnouts. And again, which one is which? I have it marked in my handy notebook. Oh, that's for track power. The next page. Here we go. Turnout block one, and it tells me which switch I've got it wired to. So, uh, keeping a, a handy notebook um, can work just as well as drawing out a complicated schematic as long as you know where things are. So, again, this is a work in progress. This is what I have so far. Uh, and eventually, once I get everything wired in, um, we'll get in with the cable ties and help eliminate some of the spaghetti. Um, the other reason to write everything down is, uh, you know, sometimes you're halfway through a wiring project, you get called away to do something else, you come back a couple of weeks later and you say, what did I do? Uh, <laughs> so having it written down is always handy. Uh, so that's what that notebook is for. So um, some of you are probably really confused, that's okay. <laughs> uh, but that gives you a basic overview of my panel and how I've wired it up for block control and also for turnouts. Okay, so uh, just like with the track power, I uh, wanted to clarify a little bit what's going on with the turnouts. So this is what it looks like if you're using the standard Lionel uh, track power for your 027 uh, turnouts. Uh, no modifications, just uh, the way they're set up. So you've got your transformer that's supplying the power to the track. Um, so your transformer, again, the common side goes to the common bus. Uh, regardless of how many power packs you have, all the power packs go to the common bus. Okay, so whichever power pack is supplying power to this block, um, you know, it's going to go through your selector switch and bus and all that. I didn't show all that, but basically the power coming from the, the power pack controlling power to the track goes to the center rail. And that is going to feed the power for the turnout internally. I didn't show all the internal wiring here. Um, but we've got our three contacts. Uh, contact number one is the common. Uh, I wire that up to the common bus. You do not have to because it's already internally wired to the outside rail, which is part of the common. But I'm showing it here in case you do it. Um, so I wire that up. That becomes optional using the push buttons. Um, so these two, these represent my two different push buttons. One side of each push button, one contact is wired to the common bus for all of my buttons. Um, because with the Lionel switches, the um, throwing the solenoid depends on what happens with the common side. That's how the non derail feature works with the outside rail. Everything has to do with the common. Okay, so the common bus attaches to one side of all, one contact on all of the push buttons. The other contact goes to a corresponding post on the turnout. So red here uh, would be for throwing the turnout for curve. Traditionally, that's red uh, here in the middle. So when I push this button, it completes the circuit for here, throws the turnout this way. This push button is for throwing the turnout to straight. So again, when I press this button, it completes the circuit going to um, the solenoid on this side. The power for the solenoid is wired internally and is connected to the, um, to the center rail. So as long as there's track power on, this works fine. Okay. So this does not show uh, how I wire them up with my modifications. Uh, that is this next diagram. Okay, so this diagram shows what's going on when I've made my modification. I've added my fourth post to wire this up for constant voltage. So now you see that the power pack that's supplying my constant voltage, my accessory power pack, still wired to the common bus, the hot side, connects to my new fourth post, which I have internally wired. I have bypassed the connection to the center rail. All of the power now comes from the accessory transformer uh, at my constant voltage between 12 and 16 volts. Everything else is the same. One button 
one side of each button goes to the common bus, one goes to curve, one goes to straight, press the button, it completes the circuit, power to the solenoid comes directly from the transformer, not from the track. So I could actually have a train stopped here, no power going to the track whatsoever, and I can still throw my turnouts. So again, I hope this helps. Um, and uh, that's the two different ways that I wired up. You may do it somewhat differently, um, but um, but that gives you the basic idea of what I'm doing. So, so I hope this helped. Um, and uh, I'll show you more progress as I get more done uh, from time to time. But this is the basic of my control panel, how I'm making it work. And uh, hopefully there's some ideas in there for you. Obviously, yours will be completely different because your layout will be different than mine. Um, but uh, like I said, you know, some of the principles apply from one to another. So until then, if you like the video, um, well, please like it, subscribe, share, tell your friends, tell your neighbors. And, uh, and be sure to come back next time. And until then, let's keep the trains running.